a lot of people I met in refugee camps, I could see that they have lost hope. And then comes a terrorist organization. They know that these are people that need that hope. So they're giving them false hope. They're preying on them and they're becoming easy recruits. People that we have failed as, as a community, as a global community. I live in New York. I was born in Lebanon and I grew up in a Palestinian refugee camp in Beirut. My parents were born in Lebanon too as refugees. My grandparents were born in Palestine. They fled in 1948. For Palestinians, you are born a refugee. There is the word refugee with everything you're going to. You ask, why am I not going to this school? Why can't my brother work because he's a refugee? So it becomes attached to your identity and to your day-to-day -day living. There are a lot of journalists and a lot of aid workers and delegates that come to refugee camps. They want to capture a photo, they want to capture a story. You start discovering your surrounding, discovering your, your camp through the eyes of the world more than through your own eyes because this is your life, you were born into it, you don't know anything else. I remember even as a child, I would go through phases of extreme depression, especially like becoming a teenager. And that was because I didn't know what the next years are going to be and usually at that age you dream, you want to become a doctor, you want to become an engineer, you want... But then reality hits you with a very sad check there that no, you may not be able to. We saw a lot of education programs. That created even a bigger problem where you have an educated community but you don't have jobs for them. I see it every time I talk to people from there and I see that sorrow, that. I did my part, but now life is not doing its part. The Arab Youth Survey this year conducted 3,500 interviews in the Middle East, and the number one factor for ISIS recruitment in the Middle East is lack of opportunity. I'm talking about stories of people that I have sit down with and I've asked them if some you know, extremist organization comes to you right now and gives you $2,000, would you actually join them? And a lot of answers were absolutely yes, anything to get me out of this.